We've said it before and we'll say it again. We here at MetaSquad love zombies and we know you love them too. All right, maybe not zombies themselves, but certainly killing zombies. Fun fact, the first ever zombie movie was actually Victor Halperin's White Zombie, which was released all the way back in 1932. Sorry to disappoint you, George A. Romero fans. Incidentally, the game we're talking about today actually takes place in a city famous for its film studios, celebrities, and visionary artists and creators. Yep, as you already know, we're taking a closer look at the sequel to 2011's Dead Island, appropriately dubbed Dead Island 2. So sharpen your katanas and strap yourself in, cause this one's gonna be nice and gory. Dead Island 2 is set in a zombie-infested Los Angeles, which is now referred to by locals as Halle since its recent uh, transition to a post-apocalyptic hellscape. So kinda like it is in real life then? Anyway, like its predecessor, Dead Island 2 is a first-person action role-playing game where you take on the role of a survivor who has decided to become a slayer, a zombie hunter who pretty much wants to kill as many of the shambling, shuffling undead as humanly possible. Just so you know, there are six different characters to choose from, each of which has their own unique skills and abilities. These warriors are Jacob, Amy, Ryan, Danny, Bruno, and Carla. It'll probably be a good idea to try out each Slayer to determine exactly which character or characters best suits your own playstyle. Personally, Amy's design reminds me of Rose McGowan's character Cherry Darling in 2007's Planet Terror. Okay, so maybe she doesn't have a machine gun for a leg, as far as I know, but her blade is still pretty awesome. In terms of combat in Dead Island 2, the emphasis is on close quarters, intense melee rather than skillful ranged attacks. Don't get me wrong, there are many guns you can use in the game, but the devs have designed Dead Island 2 so that you're forced to get up close and personal with some of the most brutally disgusting zombies ever imagined. I mean, let's be honest, if you're going to party it up, then you may as well party like it's the end of the world, which in Dead Island 2, it uh, kinda is. Much like the first game, Dead Island 2 allows you to craft and upgrade weapons using items you find out in the field or that you receive for completing certain tasks or missions. Melee weapons include baseball bats, hammers, katanas, knives, bear claws and fire axes, while ranged weapons consist of revolvers, assault rifles, hunting rifles, Molotov cocktails and so on. Without going into too much detail, there will be many, many different ways to kill zombies and with the ability to customize and craft weapons to your heart's content, you should have hours of unadulterated zombie killing fun. And as for actual zombies you'll get to kill, there's a good variety of those too. Of course there'll be a good dose of slower shamblers and walkers, and while they might be weak on their own, a horde of them will overwhelm you in a second unless you have the necessary firepower to deal with the situation at hand. Then there are runners, which are much like walkers, but they're a little fresher and, uh, well, they run. Hitting them won't be too easy, but if you take out their legs, dealing with them shouldn't be an issue. More special infected include the screamer, which will shriek at you and summon any nearby zombies to its aid. The Crusher, which is basically an undead bodybuilder overflowing with unbridled rage, and the Slobber, which is a disgusting, blubbery zombie that will puke on you and melt your flesh. Also, look out for Inferno Crushers, which are angry bodybuilders who also happen to be on fire, and Spiky Runners, who are just like runners but also covered in barbed wire or shards of glass. Oof. Maybe don't bare knuckle punch either of these Zeds if you can help it. These aren't all the zombies or enemies in the game, and from the trailers that have been released, it's clear players will have their hands full dealing with a ton of undead monsters as they explore the ruins of Hell A. Another important detail to take note of is the shift from a traditional skills tree to a skilled deck system. Now this might sound a little complex, but it's actually pretty simple. In short, players will pick up skill cards and use them to improve their chances of survival when fighting the infected. Skills are divided into four categories, namely Abilities, Survivor, Slayer, and Newman. As a bonus, players can equip and unequip cards in their skills deck and mix up their buffs at virtually any point in the game. In other words, there may be certain combinations of cards that work best in certain situations, so you should be able to have one or more decks that you can swap out at any time to give you the tactical edge in combat. Just so you know, each Slayer also has two cards under their innate abilities that can't be swapped out. These are permanent perks for Slayers, and serve to complement other skill cards you earn out in the field. This system is technically superior to the usual skills tree approach, and should allow for more dynamic gameplay and customizability, as none of your character's abilities ever stay static, as it were. While you can play Dead Island 2 by yourself, you'll also be able to play the game with up to two other players in online co-op mode. Now, the original Dead Island allowed for up to four players to co-op online, and I've read that there were also promises to make Dead Island 2 a game that up to eight players can co-op, so I have little doubt that a lot of fans are not too impressed with this. However, it also looks like some people are happy with this shift, so I guess this aspect kind of ends up as meh for the most part. If I'm wrong about this though, be sure to tell me in the comments, okay? 
Finally, to summarize the ways you can kill zombies, there's obviously using the melee approach and bashing their heads in with a baseball bat or something similar, and aiming for the head with rifles and shotguns is a tried and tested approach. But beyond this, you can also kill zombies by using the environment to your advantage. Electrocute them, blow them up, crush them, the choice is yours. You can also take your melee game to the next level by crafting more advanced and more devastating weapons. And lastly, there'll be the odd chance to get some zombie strength and tear your enemies to pieces using your bare hands, much like going berserk in Doom. Honestly, Dead Island 2 looks supremely gory and over the top, and with a healthy dose of B-grade humor and cinematic flair, this is one game that fans of action horror are not going to want to miss. Dead Island 2 will release on April 21st, 2023 and be available on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. And that's it. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Dead Island 2 before you start playing. Are there any important details I missed? And what do you think about the online co-op change? Are 3 players better than 4 or 8? Or nah? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it some love by hitting the like button. And if you could subscribe to the channel, then I can keep delivering hot new gaming VR and tech content to you on a daily basis. That's pretty much all I got to say. For me and the Slayers here at Metasquad, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!